The bonds in barium oxide are best described as A, ionic, because valence electrons are shared, B, ionic, because valence electrons are transferred, C, covalent, because valence electrons are transferred, or D, covalent, because valence electrons are shared. Barium oxide is a compound formed between barium, a metal, and oxygen, a nonmetal. You can see on this periodic table that metals take up most of the table, and the nonmetals are relegated to the right-hand side. When a metal bonds with a nonmetal, the valence electrons of the metal are transferred to the nonmetal. This is because nonmetals tend to have a greater effective nuclear charge, which means that the valence electrons, the outermost electrons, which are negative, are more attracted to the positively charged nucleus. After all, opposite charges attract. Therefore, nonmetals have a greater attraction for their own valence electrons and have a greater attraction for the valence electrons of other elements, namely metals. When a metal and a nonmetal form a bond, the valence electrons from the metal are transferred to the nonmetal, making the metal a positive ion or cation, and the nonmetal a negative ion or anion. In this example, barium transfers its two valence electrons to oxygen. Barium ends up with a plus two charge because it lost two electrons, and oxygen ends up with a minus two charge because it gains two electrons. Barium two plus and oxide two minus are attracted to each other because of their opposite charges. These two ions, the metallic cation and the non-metallic anion, are attracted to each other because of their opposite charges. This type of bond is called an ionic bond because it involves the attraction of two ions for each other. The correct answer is B, ionic, because valence electrons are transferred.